everybody. Um, happy Tuesday to you all. Um, it's been two or three days since I've talked to you. Um, but I wanted to jump on here uh, really quick like and do a video for you um, while hubby is outside mowing the yard. Uh, but I have, um, I have my precious little Caroline with me today and uh, she's about to get her very first clothes change. Um, I decided to come on and do um, a little outfit change with her and plus I've got her something um, that I think she's really gonna like. I really do. <laughs> but yeah, let's get to that. Um, Caroline has been in the living room with me uh, from day one ever since I got her a week or so ago. And uh, her and her big brother Grayson have been spending the, uh, some time in the big uh, the big kids chair in the living room, and um, I'm really enjoying this girl. Um, I really am. Um, you know Holly uh, from Holly Church. Um, I was watching her video just a few minutes ago, and we were talking about how how Maggie or how the the um, the Frida sculpt uh, needs the the straighter legs and the slimmer body. And these are some pretty good legs, I think. Um, that's on the Sandy Sculpt. I don't know. I don't know if you can just get the legs or what. I wouldn't, I would never ever want to change out my Maggie's arms and hands. Um, her hands are too expressive and I like how they're all flared out. And um, so that wouldn't work. But I'm just wondering about these legs. Um, I'm sure there's other sculpts out there, you know, that's got these, the straighter legs. But, yeah, I'm going to start trying to, um, I'm going to look into that. Um, even though um, Maggie has got some really uh, rough textured paint, it's not smooth like uh, Caroline's is. Um, I think I've got somebody that I know of that probably can fix that up for me. I'm, I won't swear to it, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, um, that's, that's an interesting conversation. I remember a long time ago, Suzanne saying, uh, talking about how she had switched a, um, one of her other bodies off on to her, um, to her Jenny. So we'll see. Um. It'll be a work in progress. I'm not. I'm not a painter. Uh, I'm not an artist. But um, we'll see. But anyway, let's get to this girl. I got on Amazon and I bought this baby girl some training training panties. And I think she these are going to suit her perfectly. Um, this pair here, I was thinking they're the. Uh, it's a yellow with zebras. Um. Not zebras, giraffes, I'm sorry. Giraffes all over. Um, I'm thinking that my big boy Grayson could probably wear those. That would suit him well, I think. We've got those. And then we have um, these. It's got little uh, teddy bears on them with a little hat. And there's a little house with smoke. Uh, oh, no, that's not smoke coming out the chimney. That's a little, here it is, right side up like a little path coming out and little leaves but yeah and it's got the little the little tag on it and max shape i think is what that says yes max shape so yeah i got these off and they're good and stretchy too and then they have the let me turn up here wrong side out so you can see they have um a quilted lining in the in the straddle of them. It gives them a little bit of padding. But that's, there's that pair. And then here is another pair. And these have, um, these are pink with um, the giraffes all over. So, so, so cute. I just love them. And then we have, we have this pair. And they're like the other uh, ones. They've got the teddy bears on with the little house with the pathway, little path on it. Cute, cute. But yeah, um, I think I'm gonna try. I'm gonna put these on with the with the giraffes. I'm gonna put, try those on Caroline and see how 
see how those are for her and then i'm going to do a close change with her she's um this is the outfit she came in and uh, i've not done a close change with her yet and so i thought that i would put this on her this is um this is a carter's 12 months it might be a little bit big on caroline um but hopefully not too big um and then here's the little dress top that goes with it. It's got the little ruffle around the sleeve and then it snaps down the back. Just all kinds of really pretty summery spring, spring like flowers on it. And my dog's barking again. I don't know what in the world he's barking at now. Cause like I said, hubby's mowing the yard unless somebody has pulled up. I'm gonna have to learn how to uh, pause my videos when I'm recording. I'm gonna have to learn how to do that because there's there's times when I need to when I need to uh, pause for some, you know, for lots of reasons. <laughs> Girl, have we got you in this? Oh, silly me. This is a top, Caroline. Caroline is a very heavy girl. She reminds me a lot of my um, Maddie sculpt by Bonnie Brown, my Annie. And, uh, yeah, she's, she's heavy in bundles, aren't you, girl? Yeah. Yeah, I just thought I would, um, since I was going to do a close change with her anyway, that we would try on these new little... Get her out of this bulky diaper and put her into um, some little training pants and see how see how we like those. She's got a pudgy belly on her, don't you, girl? <laughs> but yes, let's put your little arms up so mommy can get to you. Goodness, she's misshapen. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, let me stand you up here and get you shaped back into, some of her padding has failed. That's better, now then. Now then, does you better. <laughs> Look at this hair all sticking up. This is the softest, this is the absolute softest mohair I believe I've ever felt. So sweet. Isn't it, girl? Yes, it is. I figured I will leave this little yellow onesie on um, under this. I believe it'll go good with the yellow in the flowers. But I'm just going to leave this on her. It's a little undershirt type thing. Oh, and something else. Uh, Holly was talking about the, um, the socks with the little ruffle around it to put on your up here on your baby so like if your baby has a three-quarter length sleeve speaking of you know what i think i can i think i can do without this um if your baby has a three-quarter length uh, arm you can take the socks and uh, pull it up on excuse me up on their arm and cover cover the material part that's up here that's a great idea um i had never thought of that that's that right there could be a game changer Big time. I'll have to try that. Um, I may try that with Maggie. I may change her uh, in one of my upcoming videos. Uh, my next videos and see see how that works. Just to give it a try. Isn't that right, girl? Yeah. Of course, Caroline has the full length legs and the full length arms. But I think, of course, my favorite part about Caroline about this sandy sculpt is the face. Absolutely, because I fell in love with this face like immediately, really quick. And you know, but um, Suzanne and Holly both were talking about how they're, um, they're Jenny and um, Holly's new baby. Um, can't remember right off what Holly named her baby. She just got her. But they were talking about how they were their mini, their mini me's, and you know, honestly, 
I, I don't see my Maggie as being my mini me, but I do see, I do see Caroline as being my mini me. She's got that really dark, you know, the really dark hair and that mischievous looking face like, you know, she could possibly be one of those little girls who prowls and gets into things she's not supposed to. And I was a prowler when, <laughs> when I was little, uh, I got into everything, uh, especially when I went to my granny's house. The first place I would go was to her bedroom and I always wanted to go through all of her, her jewelry and her makeup and you know, and all of that. And this, this sweet girl right here reminds, reminds myself, she reminds me of me. Um, she just really does. Um, I guess everybody has a doll that, you know, that you might, that re might remind you of somebody. But this one, if any doll, any baby in my nursery reminds me of myself when I was little, it'd have to be Caroline. But anyway, I'm just chattering along. Let me put these little pants on you. See how they fit. See how your little training panties fit you. She's, cause she's a big girl, aren't you? Mm -hmm. She's 25 inches long. So she's, um, she's a good size girl. She's actually, actually, I think she's a little bit, uh, might be just a little bit taller than uh, my Maggie is. That's perfect. Perfect. What size did I get in those? Let me see. Um, what did I do with that? Excuse me, ladies, while I reach over here. Let me see what size I got in these. I can't remember. Well, it doesn't say. Huh. Maybe it's on my bag. Let me see if it's on the bag here. Um. Let's see. Well, it doesn't say here either. I don't know what size it is. I believe they're the size of one. They're the, they're the smallest size, I'm pretty sure, is what I ordered. But I really like those. Those are cute. I really, really like those. And she's still got some padding, you know, back there. Because I like, I like to have some padding on the little bum so I can pad them. But anyway... Let's put these little bloomers on, on top of your training panties. No accidents, Missy. You tell mommy if you have to go potty, okay? <laughs> oh. oh. So cute. She's, she's gonna be another one of those girls. She's gonna be a little bit harder to change than some of them are. Oh yeah, Caroline, that fits you perfect. This is a 12 months and that fits her perfect. That, that, all of these, all of these outfits, it's just according to what brand it is, I think, as to how well it fits your baby. But some, some 12 months will fit and be fit, fit, you know, just like perfect. And then some 12 months you can get in things and they'll just, they'll just swallow them whole. So I found that out experience and you know getting all the different name brands and stuff about how they you know now this top does appear to be just a little bit big it's just a little big but that's okay and maybe i should have left that little undershirt on her but i didn't because i knew that it would come down and cover her arms the very top a little bit Oh, how cute. Oh, Caroline, you look gorgeous, baby. She looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't she? What do you ladies think? Isn't that precious? I just love this sweet girl so much. Um, she's so precious. Let's give her hair just a little bit of a, a comb. Do we want a comb? Maybe. Um, I don't think I want to comb. I think I want to do a little brush and a little spritz. Let's do a little spritzer. How does that sound? Hmm? 
Does that sound okay? Okay. So how have you all been? Uh, like I said, it's been about three days since I've been on and done a video. And, uh, just been kind of took took a little break. I've done a lot of videos there every single day in a row. Did y'all notice that? <laughs> I've done several of them and I really enjoy it. I really, really do. But yeah, hope everybody's doing well. Hope you've had a good first of your week. Tomorrow is already Wednesday all over again. All over again. Hump day. It's just unreal. Um, since hubby has retired, I have just, my days, my days, they just run into each other and um, can't remember what day is what. It, it's like there's no separation from the weekend through the work, the week, the weekdays, you know, because he's always here. So, unless he's in hay. Now, if he gets busy in hay or if he takes my grandson fishing, you know, stuff like that, then then he's out and busy, but for the most part, and it, it has been so hot here um, lately, for the most part, he stays in, and I don't blame him. The poor man has worked outside in the heat his whole entire life, so, you know, I don't blame him one bit. Um, I enjoy having him here. Uh, sometimes it can get monotonous, you know. It can get rough. <laughs> sometimes when it, it seems kind of like you don't, not that I don't love him, but I because I really do. I genuinely do. But it's uh, the when you're so used to being by yourself, you know, all the time, and then all of a sudden there's always somebody, you know, inside with you. I'll pull that up a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see her whole head or not. That's better. Yep, that's better. Okay, well here she is. Little Miss Caroline in her cute little outfit. Um, actually, my um, uh, my Saskia sculpt, uh, Gracie, she came in this outfit. This is the outfit she was. Well, actually, she didn't come in this outfit. This outfit was in her um, in her box opening when I got her. But yeah, let's see if I've got a little bow for you. Her to put on her. Every girl needs a little bow in their hair, don't they, sis? Huh? Don't they? Yeah. How is that? Oh, it looks so cute. Mommy's girl, so cute, so cute. But yeah, uh, this is that. This is an outfit that was in uh, the box shopping with uh, my Gracie. So yeah. Uh, I really like it. I don't think I've had it on any of my other babies. Now, Annie. And my Maddie sculpt, Annie might could have had it on at one time. I can't really remember. But I think Caroline just looks absolutely adorable in this. She's my sweet girl. And uh, Suzanne's, Suzanne's uh, Sally, uh, from what I understand, she, she might be giving Suzanne a little bit of trouble getting in getting into things and doing things she, maybe she ain't supposed to do. But so far, this little girl has been... Um, just a good girl. Um, but now, her big brother Grayson is keeping an eye on her, too. So, that might make a big difference. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, there was something else I was going to tell you all. And I forgot what it was. Um, <clears throat> I know what it was. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I sold one of my babies that was on eBay. Um, I sold uh, my patty. She's the one that had the dark hair. Now, my Polly, my blonde baby, she is still up on eBay right now. Um, 
up for adoption. So if you're interested in her, um, you might want to go and check that out. I will try to remember to drop to drop my eBay uh, username down in the comments on this video. <clears throat> I said I was going to on, my, on one of my other ones and I completely forgot about doing it. Now I can't remember what video it was. But I will, I will drop, I will drop my eBay username and please go look, take a look at Polly. She's not, she's not a brand name sculpt. She's not an artist sculpt. She is just a vinyl reborn baby. And the artist that redone her, she, she, she done a really good job. And the only thing on Polly, she does look like she's just a little bit flushed, like in her cheeks, but it's hot. So what can we expect, ladies, right? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to stop it. I'm acting silly. But before I let you go, I will tell you this. Um, I have another baby in Lilway. Yes. And um, in about three or four weeks, that baby will be coming home to mommy. So, yes. And the artist, of course, is my precious, sweet, dear friend, uh, Kim Williams of the Pied Piper Nursery, and uh, yes, um, I think y'all are going to be really surprised about this baby. Um, it's one of my, it's one of my, one of my dream babies, one of my, hope I can have one babies one day, so we'll let you see, but until then, I'm not going to say anything else. But anyway, ladies, uh, I will let you all go. I don't want to bore you all to death. And um, I like to get people to come and watch my videos. And if I make them too very long, it can get boring. Because, let's face it, there's other videos, YouTube videos to watch other than just mine. So anyway, God bless you all. Um, I love the twinning video that Holly and Suzanne did with their, uh, with their two girls. Uh, it was very cute. But anyway, I'm going to let you all go. Uh, God bless you all. I hope you all have a rest, uh, a great rest of your week. Take care um, and take care of each other. And stay well. God bless you all. Bye.